Hey everybody, this is Sarah with The Rational Dog, and I am here with Horton. And today we are going to be talking about tricks that you can train your dog. Um, because I've been inspired by other dog trainers and other actually folks who follow this page um, who've gotten their trick dog certifications or trick dog titles from the American Kennel Club and so I'm really excited I want to get started with Horton and start turning in his stuff you can get your trick dog titles um, through AKC even if you don't have a purebred dog as long as you register them with the AKC's PAL program. You can find out how to do that if you just Google it. Um, but we are going to start working on our novice trick dog title. And to do it, we need to do 10 tricks. So I have planned out Horton's 10 tricks. We're going to work on them. We're going to work on a couple of them here for you today. Um, and yeah, so before we get started, I just want to ask you what kind of tricks do your dogs know? And even just like manners behaviors, those can count as tricks. Things like on and off and sit and down, all those things are tricks. So just let me know in the comments what kind of tricks your dogs do. I would love to know that. Um, so in order to get his novice trick dogs title, Horton, come here, Horton needs to do 10 tricks. And so we have decided on, I have them written down and they're over there. Um, but he is going to do a uh, hand signal for sit. He's going to do crawl. He's going to do high five or shake, whichever one kind of happens. Um, he's going to do on, and we're going to be teaching that one today with his bed. And he's going to do perch, which we've already taught. And who knows what else he's going to do. There are a bunch of other ones. He's going to do some push-ups, which is doing sitting down together. Um, so. And yes, he's got some other ones. So we're going to be working that on those things for the next couple of days while we're doing our Facebook sessions, our Facebook live training sessions. We've got like an eye goober there. So yeah, so today our main focus is going to be on teaching on, teaching him to get on his bed. And there are, <laughs> there are a couple of reasons to teach your dog to get on something. Um, most notably, if you are a dog trainer, one of a uh, dog trainer's favorite things to teach a dog when they're here for training is place. And place is teaching a dog to get on a spot that you specify and to stay there until they're released. Now, I'll teach dogs place when they come to me for training, but I don't really use it myself um, because I teach dogs to have self-control in a different way. But it is a handy thing to teach your dog. If you've got guests coming over, it's great to have a spot to send your dog to. Um, and they can just lie down and chill out. But um, on and off is also great for teaching your dog things like getting on the table at the vets, um, teaching them to get on and off the furniture. And of course, most people want their dogs to get off of furniture, but I like to say you can't have a light without a dark to stick it in. Um, and so teaching your dog on and off can help to really cement that, um, that concept for them. So we're going to start off training with things that Hort already knows, going to back in the training, training game a little bit, his brain working. Um, and then we're going to start on bed. So let's do it. We've got some, some old Wendy's, old like from yesterday, Wendy's sausage that we are using for training treats great thing about having small children is there's all kinds of weird leftovers that dogs love to work for. Right? Right. Oh, so let's get started. Come on, little son. Here we go. Job. Okay, work. Work touch. Yes. Nice job. Very good. All right. And work. This one. Ready? Do perch. Sort of. You look at it. Perch. Good. Nice perch. Good boy. That's good. Good. You remember swing? You swing? Good. He's swinging his butt this way and that. Yes, good. 
Good job. One more. Swing left. Good, 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 good. Drop a cookie. You dropped a cookie. Okay. Good perch. One more. Swing left. Good, good. Yeah, good boy. Right now I'm cool with just one step. That's fine. Okay. Good boy. Good job. All right. We'll get rid of that. You're doing great. Okay. Come here. Ready? Four here. Touch. Good. So I'm giving him several cookies while he's up on the bed so that he wants to stay on there until we're late. Okay, good boy. Good job. One more time. this because it's been forever since we worked on it but we did work on shake we'll see if he remembers it right hey shake yes good there you go good job and shake Our session for today because believe it or not like that much training is a lot for a bloodhound puppy at one time Horton's an awesome dog though he's got really good work ethic really good focus and he's like super duper happy dog are you a happy dog yes he is all right so that's what we got for you today we're gonna keep working on the different tricks that we need until we get our trick title certification so I'm really excited to do that with you guys and like I asked at the beginning, I want you to tell me in the comments what are the tricks that your dog knows how to do. Just keep giving me ideas because the more ideas I have, the more training I can do. All right? Okay, guys. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to get lots of free dog training advice here at YouTube. And if you are having dog training problems yourself, Visit the link in the description and take our free quiz to find out what your number one dog dilemma is and how you can fix it.